to share with you how to use the new digital adapted books and show you what they look like when you're using them or when your students are using them. You'll use the PDF instructions that you download to get the files into your Google Drive or into your student's Google Drive. Once you have them here, you'll open them up. So I have level one open here and I have level two open here. And you're going to use these resources in presentation mode. Now ignore this box. I don't know why my computer is putting this box around um, only a certain part of the screen. So just ignore it. When you use this with your students and you're not recording your screen, it'll show up normally and it'll highlight the whole page. So here's your first page. So click the arrow right here to go to the first page to read. And this is a level one book. So you're just going to have a keyword here, a vocabulary word that describes the picture. They will not be able to click off of this screen and they have to click the correct answer to go to the next page. Let me show you what it looks like when they click an incorrect answer. It asks them to try again and they can't click off of this page. They have to click the arrow to go back. Same for the other incorrect answer. To move forward, they have to click the correct answer and it tells them great job. They click the arrow and move on to the next page and they will continue on through the whole presentation in this manner. At the end, you'll click the arrow to go to the next page and then they have the comprehension questions. What is this story about? This story is about space. If they were to click the incorrect answer, again, it's going to prompt them to try again. When they click, click the correct answer, it's going to give them the great job response and move to the next question. At the end, it says you are finished and then they can exit the presentation. To work on level two, it works the same way. Again, ignore this box, no idea why it's popping up. You'll click the arrows and you'll click the correct answers to move through the story. Now you will want them to actually read the story and not just click the correct answers. But to save your precious time, I'm clicking the correct answers just to show you each page to get to the end of the story. Again, you have the end, you're gonna click an arrow. The story is about space. Which planet is the largest? Jupiter. The only planet with life is Earth. There are 140. Um, ooh, good question. And we're finished. This is a look inside one of the digital adapted books. These digital adapted books are going to come with the printable versions as well. So if you want to print these out and use them in your classroom, you have that option as well. Or if you'd like them to use this on um, a tablet or a computer or a laptop or an iPhone or something like that, especially during distance learning, you certainly can send them the digital version and share it with your students. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm always happy to help.